Ben, Jen, the people who spoke out at this meeting today demanded change from the Board of Education and from school administrators saying they want them to take these issues seriously, saying that they've experienced them for several years. Students from the Amity Regional District Number 5 shared their experiences of discrimination within the community. Here at Amity Middle School Orange, I was made fun of for my small eyes. Stories of my was... closest friends, classmates, and peers who have shared their terrible experiences regarding being discriminated against or targeted because of the color of their skin, their religion, sexual orientation, anything that differentiates them. Made up of students from Bethany, Orange, and Woodbridge, the district was described as one that needs to address a long history of intolerance by those who spoke out in front of the Board of Education Monday night. There's a lot of racism within our school um, and within the towns in general. There's a lot of just quiet racism where, with students just you know, saying jokes or just being misinformed about things that's going on in the world. Parents also showing up to speak about what their own children have gone through, describing bullying and harassment that they say has created a hostile environment within the schools. Racial comments that she's had, derogatory comments uh, that have been, you know, um, addressed towards her. She didn't even want to go to school at one point. Now the students and parents are calling on the Board of Ed and the superintendent to take action, demanding they create a district diversity committee and make the curriculum more inclusive, among other things. Putting some structure into the community and her plans as how we're going to move forward from all of this. Wearing red in solidarity with those who spoke at the meeting, Superintendent Jennifer Byers says some work has already been done, including an effort for minority recruitment and professional development for staff, but agreed there's more work to do. We don't disagree with the suggestions for change that were presented this evening and are fully committed to taking the steps to continue to create the positive, tolerant, and supportive environment that, saw, that is sought. The people who spoke out tonight said that they started meeting with each other a couple of months ago and sharing some of their experiences after the school showed a video of Kanye West calling for Black History Month to be abolished. But this isn't the first time that there's been issues in this school district, including back in 2018, when people brought their concerns to the Board of Ed over anti-Semitism within the district as well. Live in Orange tonight, Gabby Molina, Fox 61 News.